Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how to edit Lottie assets in After Effects. So let's begin. So the first thing you need is to have the After Effects original file. In our case, we will use an example from the shape.soul library. Now let's open this After Effects file. And over there you will see the After Effects UI and this nice illustration. But if you're not familiar with After Effects, this may look a little bit overwhelming. But no worries, you will see that all the different steps that we will learn today are easy to follow. So we need to do two things today. The first thing is to change color. So I will show you how to change the color of the red square. Plus, I will give you an extra bonus and I will show you how to change the color of the frame of the sunglasses. The second thing we need to do is to scale up the animation. And I will show you how to do that without messing with the small assets, which I consider an interesting technique. Ok, so let's look for our layer that contains our red square. Go to the bottom and you will see this layer called rectangle. This is the one that contains our red square. Let's select that layer and let's go to the toolbar and over there let's click on fill. Once you will click on fill, a new window will pop up. And we just need to choose any color that we want from the color palette. I already was exploring some options, so maybe we can use this purple. Uh, let me change the ratio of the artboard so we can see all the assets. Now let's move to the bonus part. So in After Effects we have something called pre-composition. And this is like a project inside another project. So right now we have our main project, which is the whole animation. But for example, if we focus on the frame of the sunglasses, this is inside a pre-composition, which is a project inside our main project. So let me teach you how to change the color of the frame of the sunglasses. So let's go to the bottom of the UI and let's click on P11, which is the composition of the character. Now, in the composition of the character, you will see this other composition called H2. So double click over there. And this is the composition of just the head. Now we can select the frame of the sunglasses and let's go to fill, click over there and I will paste the color code that we use for the square. Now let's select the rest of the frame and let's paste the same color. Ok, now let's not forget this small detail. But for this part of the frame, I will use another color. So it won't blend with the background that we are using in our main composition. Now let's go back to our main composition. And I will hit the space key to play our animation. Ok, nice. Now let's move to our second task. And we need to increase the size of our illustration. To do so, let's go to composition. And over there, let's choose composition settings or command K. Let's change the width and height of the artboard. So let's type 600 for the width and 600 for the height. Then let's hit OK. Now we need to resize the illustration. So one way to do it is selecting all the different layers from our composition and using the scale tool, resize it as we want. But in that case, it may misplace our assets and we don't want to change our illustration. So probably a better solution will be to group first all the layers and actually scale the group itself. Like that, we won't be concerned about changing any of the assets. So we will create a new solid and it's actually in this solid where we will change its scale. Before that, we will link the properties of this solid to the properties of all the different layers inside the composition. Which means if we scale up the solid, the rest of the layers will scale up as well. And in After Effects, we call this parenting. So let me show you. Over here, let's right click anywhere. Let's go to new and let's choose solid. A new window will pop up. And we can give to the new solid a width and height of 50. Ok, let's press enter. Now, let's select the rest of the layers, but make sure that you're not selecting the new solid. Now let's go to the column where it says parent and link. Let's click in any of the drop downs and over there let's choose dark gray solid 1, which is our new solid. Now let's go back to our solid and select scale. And over there we can change its scale so let's say 132. Ok, perfect. Now, we just can ditch the solid since we won't use it anymore. The final part is to export the illustration using body moving. I am assuming that you already installed body moving to your After Effects, but if that is not the case, I will just leave a link that will help you to do so. Now, let's go to Window. And over there, let's choose Extensions. And let's select the body moving. A new window will pop up. 
and let's make sure that we're selecting the composition that we want to render. In our case, it will be person render. So let's click there just to show you and you can change the name of the JSON or you can create a new folder. So let's just click on save. Okay, perfect. Now we'll hit on render. Let's wait for a few seconds. Hit on done and there you go. Now we have a new animation. Now let's pretend that we have a project in Xcode where we need to replace the animation we have over there for this new one. So let's go to a spotlight and let's open Xcode. And I would choose this project and there you go. Now let's check the animation that we have in our project. And we have this check mark and this is the animation that we want to replace. So I will close this and then I would just drag and drop my JSON file to my project. So I do that and I will have this pop up. Let's click on finish and now let's go to my code. As you can see, here's the name of my current animation. So the only thing we need to do is just to change the name for the name of my new animation. So I will delete this and I will write bit. Then I will hit play and there you go. We have our new animation in our project. So that's it for today, guys. Please subscribe. And if you like videos like this, you can go to our channel. We have different types of quick tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Bye.